Okay, I want to do a little update for the day. Uh, uh, got my call sign today. Um, kilo Kilo 4, November, Hotel. Man, what was Jay? I forget now. Anyhow, Jay. <laughs> what is Jay? Jockey? 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 No. I can't remember. When I was in the military, that's sad. Anyway, KK4NHJ. That's my call sign. Um, that went on the SEC website today, so now I can officially talk on the radio. Uh, I have a technician license, so it's just kind of a beginner's license. Um, to talk on uh, about, uh, between seven and this uh, two meter radio uh, which is somewhat limited but there's some repeaters um, on some mountains around here uh, Paris Mountain, Caesars Head um, it seems like there's a repeater and I don't know maybe I'm not, I should even say I don't know I got a a guy programmed this for me and he's got Jasper and Brevard and uh, Clemson channel in there and I don't know if that's repeaters or what so I had never heard anybody talk on those so I'm not sure what those are but anyway on the Caesars Head in Paris Mountain I hear a good bit of traffic on this and that's uh, like I said upstate of South Carolina uh, up, uh, the upper uh, eastern side of uh, Georgia uh, probably some of the more eastern side of Tennessee and definitely in North Carolina, uh, the western part of North Carolina. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, that's pretty good range right there. I can talk to people in the, within a state or two here. Um, there is a small window on this full ham radio in the 10 meter band. Um, and I hadn't tried to talk on it yet. Um, but it's, uh, I want to say it's 28.3 to 28.5 um, that I can talk on this. I hadn't heard any traffic on it when I have tried to pick it up. Uh, I know with um, these bands, they, they uh, do better at certain times of day than others. Uh, some of them may pick up better at night, some of them during the day, and there's a lot of meteor activity. There's, there's a lot that goes into it when it works better than others, uh, other times. But uh, anyway, so I'm looking forward to talking on that. Um, see if I can't get something going on there. I already know a few people that have a license that I need to get in touch with and see if we can uh, communicate. Uh, I probably need to raise my antenna up a little bit. I got a dipole antenna that's only about 20 foot off the ground, maybe. I need to get it higher, uh, and maybe that'll open that up a little bit. Um, and if you hadn't seen any of my other videos, this is a, uh old amplifier that was given to me. That along with the old CB. That's how I got the CB and the, uh, this amplifier. It's a 90 watt amplifier for 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters. Uh, it's an old tube amp. Uh, kind of thinking I may end up using that if it's working. It seems it, it lights up, the tubes get warm up and all that. I hadn't, of course, used it yet, but I'm thinking if I use that, I can keep the uh, output on this low and just kind of save this radio, save the wear and tear on the tubes with it, just use that. It was a gift to me, just, so might as well try it. No, it's something to play with anyway. Uh, but that's not why I made the video. The video was, I got my call sign. Um, I'm official now. Uh, I'm good to go. You can find me on the FCC website. That's, so I'm there. Um, so just a little update, um, making progress in my little endeavors. Uh, anyway, I guess that's it. I just wanted to, I guess, brag a little bit. Hey, I got my license. <laughs> got my call sign, I mean. Anyway, that's my video for today.